Zeman is, uh, I don't even know where to begin, because I think the first time I was aware of Zeman, or at least his work, was in, uh, it was probably an NFT program, and there was this image from Baron Prasil, or as we know it, Munchausen, and I had never seen anything quite so beautiful, this, these incredible engraved buildings arches, everything, and real people within them. And it took me years before I actually finally saw the film. And I, this morning, I watched the Blu-ray, which is beautiful, and you should get it, because the work that's been done to restore the film is, is extraordinary. It's, it's stunning. And I watched it today, because I haven't seen it for so long, and I had this terrible uh, discovery. It was shocking. There's a scene from this film that I stole before I saw the film. And I don't know if that's a crime or not, but I can't believe that this was so similar to something I did years ago. This film had so many ideas, images in it that uh, have stuck with me. Um, the, what he did by using these engravings, and now here's something. A lot of people think the engravings that he uses for all the, the architecture in the film are by Gust Gustav Doré. Not true. Uh, you'll see in the opening credits, you'll see Doré's drawings from um, his version of Munchausen. But the film itself, I don't know where he got all the engravings from, but he combines um, real sets with engraved lines on them, painted meticulously with then um, later either front projection or however, I don't even know his technology, uh, how you did his stuff. I, but, uh, even interested because it's so beautiful and it's seamless. And so you end up with a world that is a series of two dimensional um, architectural elements in a three dimensional world with three dimensional real people working within it. And it, it's stunning to watch. Uh, and his, what's so wonderful, not only are his ideas incredible and the images incredible, but his wit, he's funny and it's a very, Czechoslovakian, if that word still exists, or Czech Republic. <laughs> it was still Czechoslovakia then. Yeah, that, it's, it's no longer. But when Zeman was alive, he was a Czechoslovakian wit. And it's incredibly funny in a very subtle way, and sometimes it's a very bald way. Um, he's, he, he mixes animation, live action, all sorts of things. He has no shame, basically. Anything that catches his fancy, he uses, and he makes it work. And it all sticks together in a way that is still extraordinary. And what I love about it is we live in a world now with you know, um, DC Comics coming alive on the street. Everything is photorealistic. He stays within a world that I think plays to a different part of our brain. It's a, the brain of childhood. It's when we open picture books and these things were there and he makes them come alive. And I think that is not what the current batch of films does. It doesn't play to that part of our brain. And so I find when I watch it, it it's a joy. I'm a kid again. I'm innocent. I haven't seen the world, and the world is still an amazing place. Things to discover. That's what Zeman does. So I hope you like the film as much as I do. And I want to thank all the folks who have brought it back to life with the, the restoration, the Blu-ray. Get it. It's good money. Well spent. You'll never regret a moment. I'm a salesman, too. See? I get a commission. You see, I get 10% of all the deals. That's it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> you spotted it. You spotted another thievery bit of mine. Because there's a, the scene in Parnassus, when they go through the mirror, the first one, we've got all these tree cutouts, and it's me trying to do what Zeman did, less successfully, I think. He did it, I don't know how he did it somehow. I don't, it's funny talking to the guys who did all the work at re restoring it, they've seen some of the wires that we don't really want to see, because it's magical the way he worked. We did, uh, I was part of this documentary they made, which is also part of the, the Blu-ray, and again, you get to see some of his techniques, how he did it. They were incredibly simple, but they work. And it's, I think that's his charm. He kept it simple. There wasn't, it wasn't, he was free. He was free. And there's something about that that you don't see in movies anymore. Uh, because this bit should not be with that bit, but it works perfectly. It, or it, it pulls your brain in different ways. It's, it's good. It's cheaper than drugs.
Thank you very much. Enjoy the film.